Folks, welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans, for the fans. I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, being joined tonight by the man in black. He is your coach. He is someone's coach. The man known as Derek. Yo, yo, yo. We are going to review AEW Dynamite for January 31st, 2024. We're going to get into this and all things AEW. Um, Might be more of an open forum tonight. If you guys got stuff you want to talk about, feel free. We will talk about the show, but uh, yeah. 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 So um, it might might have a little bit of a a harsh time on this one. We'll see. We're going to talk about it. There was some good. There was some bad. There was some ugly. Um, we'll get into this review. Make sure you guys stay tuned in. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Brand new, subscribe and leave a comment. Do all those YouTube things for us. All right. Um, let's get into the intro and I guess let's talk about dynamite. Let's do it. Everything pro wrestling they can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people. The best show that's here. So listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinion and the lesson. Yes. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Ah, yes. Another dynamite in the books, and I don't know how to feel. Let's start off with shout outs. Terrell, first one in the house, he was watching, commented during the show. Um, there were teases for a big announcement from Tony Khan. He's got some guesses. Number one, he's got Mercedes Monet. Number two, The Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. Number three, Madison Square Garden Show. How they pull that off. (laughs) Number four, the Barclay Center. And number five, Dwayne. Dwayne Johnson is not coming here. He is on the board of directors for WWE. It is a rat Rizzy for five. Um, I just don't see that happening. That would be funny, though. (laughs) You know how fast he would get kicked off that board? They would vote him out immediately. Um, Sir Quills in the house. He said, what up, Conrad? Derek, chat. Your boy, Sir Quills, is back again to enjoy another AEW Dynamite review. Let's get into it. Let's go, Quills. Let's. Eric Douglas says, has Tony found Wendy Richter yet? Still on the lookout, I I believe. Still looking. BJ said, what up, everyone? Hope it's been a good hump day. It was a rough one for me. Hump day? Deanna said, good couple of days and then an overly predictable AEW show. Predictability's not bad. (laughs) It's not bad. (laughs) I'm not saying that this was good either, but there are different reasons. Not because it was predictable. Right, yeah. Matt Lopez says, good evening. Hope everyone is okay. Deanna's talking about War Daddy getting hurt. We're going to get into that too. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, BJ says, we've been talking all show. Yeah, I could probably give you BJ's thoughts on a lot of it as well, but I'll let BJ share it. Maybe he'll expound upon what he was telling me. Um, Yeah, don't put that in the world. Uh, I I don't know if that's about Wardlow getting hurt. Matt Lopez comes in. He's got guesses for TK's big announcement. He has one, Okada. Two, Mercedes. Three, Will Ospreay's debut date. Four, Forbidden Door Date. Five, MSG Debut. Doubtful but hopeful. New York City guys want that at that Madison Square Garden show. I mean, it would be nice, but I just don't think that's within the plans. Yeah. Uh, I've joined the Derek Hater Club tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, nah, number five might be likely because WrestleMania anniversary is being held in Philly this year instead of New York City. That might might have been the reason. No, I don't know. Do you think Jamie comes back soon? I don't know for Jamie Hader. Jamie Hader's got it. I'm I'm going to go around double or nothing for yeah. Jamie Hader. I don't know what the injury is, so I can't really speak. WrestleMania 40 should be in New York. I think we're past those days, guys. They're not going to fill up the garden anymore. And I'm sorry, but MetLife Stadium is too daggone cold. They ain't yeah. trying to go there either. Right. We'll see how Philly is. Maybe, maybe it'll do. Look at who showed up. Hey, Zeus. De Leon. About time. Right. You, you ain't getting us nothing special tonight. <laughs> Tired of you talking trash. 
Another special announcement. Yawn, sleep. What's up, Conrad? My guy, Derek. My guy, Hubs. Sean, co-host of Clash of the Podcast, every Monday live at uh, 6.05. We do have an episode out right now on audio platforms. Uh, make sure you guys check it out. Um, listen. Listen, guys. Uh, we talk about the Royal Rumble fallout and everything dealing with it. Um, I'm going to say the same thing that we said on all the other shows. Me and Derek are not foolish. We do know a lot of the allegations. You guys can hear about them. We're not going to delve into them. We're not going to talk about them right now because uh, there's a lot of stuff still up in the air. And people are getting sued for uh, speaking about it. So yes. we're going to just stay up out of this for right now. Open but, and shut. But when the time is right, we'll probably end up talking about it. We'll see. All right. Eating a lot of bone in the whistle. This guy. <laughs> uh, Eric, I saw Beekeeper. It was a great movie. Don't know what that is. That's the movie with um, Jason Statham. Okay. He, he's supposed to be like a... Uh, he's supposed to be like a cleaner, basically. Like, like if you if you don't do your job, I come in and clean it up for you. Okay. <laughs> that, I mean... I thought this had to do with bees. <laughs> nah. What is this? Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. Oh, that's Terrell uh, getting at uh, Sean. What up? Uh, wish I could have predicted how trash this show was going to be. Main event saved it from a signature Derek rant. <laughs> DN, everyone saying hi. Easy E's in the chat. What up, E? Yo. Pro Wrestler Shoot says, yo, yo, what's good? What's yo, good? Yo, yo. Uh, I think Hater should be back by double or nothing and will dethrone Tony Storm. Could be. Awesome. Could be. Derek, tonight we got Ricky Spanish. Did we? Hey, wasn't it a man? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Shout out to E promoting the Discord. If you guys haven't joined our Discord link, we would love to have some more people in there. Discord is kind of the new place to come talk wrestling, wrestling forums. Uh, feel free. Come on over. You're all welcome. Uh, EPW Discord, that link will send you the invite down there. Click it. Let's do it. Come on in. Uh Someone said, put down the tequila. Who's drinking tequila, Rockstar? Tequila Sunrise. Saw that Team CMLL will be facing Mox, Claudio, and Brian next Wednesday. Yes. Uh, he's a Jason Bourne type super soldier. What up, Clown? Appreciate you joining us. I like the NWO logo. I see that in the name. I know you you came over from uh, Tazzy Streams. I see you over there all the time, too. So welcome. Um, and shout out to my guy, Tazzy. I don't know if he's in here or whatnot, but appreciate you. Uh, Derek, do you like TNA or nah? I don't think Derek's watched the new TNA yet. Not yet. I I, I gave I gave my word. I have to give it a go. So I will keep you updated, Terrell. Sean says, thanking Conrad for a lot. You cut this out. <laughs> Hover Wrestling Weekly now at 1,000 plus subscribers before Clash. Uh, 200 subscribers. Uh, subscribers have quintupled since my le- <laughs> since my bro and I started working together. That's no coincidence. Thank you, CJ. Ah, don't worry about it. It's part of it. Get me to 2K. That's what we need. 2K over here, too. Right. All right. Then we're going to get Hubbard Wrestling Weekly to 2K. And you just need to be on your best behavior, dude. That's all we ask of you. Here's our dynamite lineup, guys. I don't want to waste any time with this. That's the lineup. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have a lot to say. I really don't. I really don't. Thank you, Terrell, for showing Sean some love. I'm glad Sean hit uh, over a thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My guy, Hubs. One G. Let's go. Uh, TK, another announcement. Watch be another letdown. We'll see. We'll see, guys. Yo. Tonight, we got rules around here, and Derek knows one of my rules. If you're going to complain about it, you got to come with something better or to something you think is better. Right. All right? So that's what I, I want to hear solutions tonight to the dynamite <laughs> problems. All right? I know. We know. We all know it's trash tonight. We, yeah. didn't, we did not have fun watching this show. I don't know if this is going to get the full thumbs down treatment. I got to talk myself through this to see if I believe it. but. But we, we, we got to come with some ideas, I feel like, tonight. And that goes for everybody who, who wasn't feeling it. I feel like the show is going to be a little cold, so, you know. Oh, my goodness. 
And I gotta keep the old scalpel warm because I feel like yeah, it's gonna be a lot of cold, hard facts. All right, let's start with the opener tonight. Let's start with John Moxley versus Jeff Hardy. Uh, a lot of people said TK was cooking with this one. Who said that? There, there were fans. On, oh my god, on on social media. A lot of fans on the socials. Yeah, so sometimes we gotta we gotta let the uh, trigger fingers just relax. <laughs> what do you think? Well, you, so you obviously believe they weren't cooking. I didn't think so either with this. No. Um, I mean, I think we are at the point right now where it. Jeff, you were my guy back in the day. I kind of need you to not be my guy. What does that mean? <laughs> like, I, 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 I kind of need you to like step away, my guy. It's it's over, bro. It's over. You're not getting a title shot. You're not getting the tag team title shots. It's over. If they do, I think it's out of pity. I think it's out of pity. And John, you might you my guy too, but you you should have walked away from this one. I I don't What do I say about dude? I do not like talking bad about this number one. This is I, I have said this week after week. All right? I don't know what to say. Like, what is this, bro? What is this? Why is Jeff Hardy in a singles match against John Moxley? What the talent did not all just disappear. It did not dissipate all of a sudden, and there was no more talent. Voila! Cody and Punk leave, and all the talent went with them. We lost Cody. I get it. We lost Punk. I get it. We lost Jade. I get it. And we lost Pillman Jr. I get it. All right. I mean, the, you have significant losses, but not enough to. You, your roster was huge. Yeah. But they're also dealing with Omega's out, MJF's out. Like. But you still have enough star talent to make things happen, though. You have enough there to say, all right, you know what? Our Some of our biggest talent is gone and some of our biggest talent is hurt. But we still have well more, you know, way more enough talent to continue this movement. Why are you not continuing? Like I, I'm 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 so so confused right now. Like please help me. I, I, I don't know. Bro, I'm like I'm like at a loss right now. The matches don't feel big enough. They don't. There's, there's there's no motivation behind the matches. You're just putting them together. I mean, we could we could let a little kid do that at the end of the day. I mean, and and I I don't want people to think like. Listen, I'm not gonna front. Let's not act like Raw's book like some five time phenomenal show that deserves an Emmy either. Because it's not. But there are a lot of people that will say that it is. Yes, I I definitely think. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that there was some. They they've made some questionable decisions too recently, like letting people win in the mid card, things like that, and they're suffering on the other side too. The thing I don't understand with WWE is the popularity and stuff is never waning. Like nobody's disappearing, yeah. even if something bad happens. Like there's no boo. I'm out. I'm gone. People are invested they are sunk into this but but i think i think i think that's all part of the plan though bro because i feel like everybody is invested nobody's disappearing nobody's dissipating nothing is changing because we all have a bigger agenda and that's to get rid of aew for some people for some people and i'll say this if it wasn't for aew being good some of the other places wouldn't be as good yeah. i said it i said it and i mean it i truly do like, I mean, I mean, the AEW is the reason why WWE has done better, because now you have you have competition. 
You have competition. So now you have to do something else. You have to do more. You can't just do the regular run-of-the-mill matches and expect everybody to be okay with it. Not when you have another company that's coming in and saying, hey, time to put the hammer down. We're going to show you what we got. Knuckle up. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. CML guys were in the crowd. We've been seeing a lot of CMLL promotion. It looks like they're going to be uh, joining in with Dynamite. They're going to be part of the, I don't know if this will say Forbidden Door, or they're going to be part of some matches with them. I'm cool with that. Fine. Now, Moxley gets out there with them, and he starts pushing a couple of the guys, maybe even hitting them. I don't know what happened. Um, During this match, Jeff Hardy threw a chair at Moxley. And I had to stop, and I said, Yo, what is this, dog? We're not calling for disqualifications? And they were like, well, the ref's being a little lenient. I'm okay if outside the ring you're like, yeah, there's no DQs, like New Japan style. In New Japan, they use chairs and stuff on the outside because it's not a DQ. It's once you bring it into the ring. But you need to establish that then as the rules. Like I feel like we dip our toes into where ECW, we're like New Japan and Ring of Honor, but then we're also AEW but we also should be following the basic rules of pro wrestling. Right. There's no consistency. It's annoying to me. It is. It's very annoying. And I think that's something that they should have established in the beginning, making sure you're making tags, making sure you're holding the tag rope if that's what you want to do. Someone needs to sit down and do all of this and just explain all of this with people. That's how I'm feeling with it tonight. Um, in the end, Moxley wins with the sleeper. He goes to shake Jeff's hand. Jeff's like, nah, I'm good, son. Gives him the, oh, whatever that is. I don't know what he's doing. And he he hits the dusty trail. CMLL guys hop in the ring, and they are putting a beat down on that ass. <laughs> and they stomp a hole in John Moxley. I don't know where BCC was, but yeah. he got a beat down from them. Cool. Which um. I don't know, man. What you got? Nothing. <laughs> got nothing. That's the, that's the best you got, Derek? That, that, that is the greatest that I've got. <laughs> that is the greatest. Um, yeah, I got nothing. I'm going to go through some of these comments real quick here and pull these up. That's, uh, that's probably best. <laughs> Easy E said, it's too expensive to film an MSG. TK has Arthur Ashe. He's not sweating MSG. It's important. Uh it's being important is just a Gomez narrative. I think that is also very true, though, that a lot of people forget yeah. that some of this stuff that people think is important is something that has been taught to you over years of it being important. Derek, what did you say when we mentioned Madison Square Garden before? Do you remember? Oh, uh, you called it a specific thing that began with an M. The Mecca. We have been taught that. Is Madison Square Garden really still the Mecca? No, it's a stadium show now in pro wrestling. Yeah. How many people can you fill up in that bit? You know what I mean? Like I mean, honestly, bro, like has it has it really been referenced as the Mecca in like years? I don't hear anybody really say that anymore. Right. It used to be when we were kids. Yeah, and like now it's just like MSG. Okay, cool. Whatever. It's what it is, right? Yeah. Like I don't know. Like MS MSG would be cool, but I, I don't think it would live up to the hype like it like it would have back in the day. Now, I mean, especially after what you did at Wembley. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. MSG is still is still the Mecca, quote unquote, but nobody calls it that anymore. At, at least at least I don't hear anybody call it that anymore. Oh yeah, we're going to Madison Square Garden. Okay, cool. It doesn't have that uh that effect on me anymore. Like, oh, you're going to MSG? Oh, yo, that's about to be crazy. Ah, right, you going to MSG? All right, cool. Cool. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy. You know, have a good time. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, the big announcement is additional tickets for All In. Please, no. Oh. All In's actually selling pretty well for the most part. I see a lot of people are also hopping on the train to poo-poo on AEW stuff. Of course. MSG is too small for Mania. I think it has outgrown it. Um, BJ said cooking with a stove, with a half of the stove, maybe. Uh, Pro Wrestling Shoe says, I got no solutions for AEW anymore. I'm over it. John Moxley took the role of Captain Planet tonight and started fighting with four luchadors. 
every account on Twitter that said this trash was cooking them, I muted them. <laughs> That this was cooking, I muted them. It wasn't all bad. Jeff didn't totally look like crap. Best part of the match after was the CML standoff. Send that man back to Rampage Universe. Quill said, Kyra, you sound very disappointed about tonight's dynamite. Let the frustrations, bro. Uh, Derek, let the frustrations out too. I'm here for the entertainment as well as the information and education. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. All these matches didn't need to be new segments, B, including uh, Mox and Jeff. Jeff is in the middle of a storyline. What storyline? Retirement? They're, no, they're 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 getting attitudes. The Hardys. That's why they're oh we where the ratings draws and I, I think they're gonna make them heal and try and do something different. Yeah, Jeff's about to turn heel. I understand the Hardys want more in their career, but at the same time they need to know their limitations. Clown says. Cray said, <laughs> Dynamite twenty nineteen to twenty. I don't want to put the nail in the coffin on them just yet. You may have losses, but you got talent to make Banger step up or step out. BJ said, why can't Mox just face one of the CML guys and break out into a fight post-match? I get you added Jeff for the name, but sh the showing takes away more for the show rather than helps. Terrell comes in. Phoenix uh, has to be the turning point for AEW. It better not be the Phoenix, <laughs> Phoenix Lights led by Planet Stasiak. Sean Stasiak, Cactus from XG Dub. Good evening, EPW family. How are you all? Greeting, Sir Conrad, Mr. D. How are you? What up? What up? What up, Cact? Um, like WrestleMania 40, not about to be WrestleMania 32 of all the talent are injured. MJF was doing a comedy movie called Floaters. I'm going to be honest, Jesse from the Pro Wrestling Shoe says, I've been enjoying Raw a hell of a lot more than Dynamite. I think AEW Fantasy booked me to death, so now any match they put together doesn't seem big enough. Could it be that they've over-delivered in the beginning? Probably. If something happens with Triple H, be it bad booking decisions or something involving any investigations, they will turn on it again. I think they could turn with the new TV deals. We'll see. I mean, they've been going for everything, bro. It doesn't matter what you do. I was frustrated the other week watching Raw, and they had Tozawa beat Ivar, but then the next week Ivar beat Chad Gable. What? What? First of all, no no disrespect to Tozawa. No disrespect to any of the talents, but why is Chad Gable losing to these guys? <laughs> That's how I feel. Why is Tozawa winning? Why is he still, like like I said, no no disrespect to, uh, to Tozawa, but you don't quite belong here anymore. BJ says relax rules, a.k.a. the ref messed up. I don't think the ref messed up. I think the talent started doing stuff, and it put the ref in an awkward position. In some places, they'll say, yo, call for the bell if they start doing stupid stuff. But here, eh. Yeah, he, they're trying not to mess it up. Here is hit or, hit or miss with You're you. in a match with Moxley. Remember the people who are on top in this company, John Moxley, yeah. anybody in the elite, uh, MJF. These guys call shots. Jericho. They call shots. Like, at the end of the day, I don't think the ref's trying to make them mad because no. they can probably get them up on out of here. At least that's how the ref thinks. Right. Um, and, yes, I did see the ranking drop, Matt. Uh, I got that. Thank you for that. And I'm going to go over it at the end here. I did just add it. Chair relax. Why did they come out to save Moxley? Good question. Only basketball and the Knicks are killing that. <laughs> I wouldn't even say that, bro. <laughs> Every famous comedian, I sold out MSG. A lot of people say it. Well, when WWE only does house shows and TVs and no pay-per-views, it doesn't get treated as important. MSG has never really mattered to me. I prefer the Staples Center. It de you're on the West Coast, though. Like I get that, but MSG to me, up MSG here, up here that that's that's our big stadium. Yeah, well, that's the big arena. But even with that, though, bro, like with MSG, that's cool. But now I feel like Chicago is really the mecca of pro wrestling. That's where they always go for the big shows now. Yeah. They're the new MSG. That's the new temperature check to see how people are really feeling about someone. Well, you know what? You you can you can, I think you can argue that that statement there because Chicago has been on point with how they feel about everything lately. So I don't see anything wrong with Chicago being the new Mecca because that that's that's where the the livest crowd has been. Yeah, Easy said Chad Gable should be getting ready to dethrone Gunther. 
BG said, to be fair, both matches had similar distractions with the story with Tozawa, Gable, and Ivar. But BJ, why why would Chad Gable lose to him if Tozawa beat him? That's what I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about distractions or anything. This this is going nowhere. This is what I'm talking about. Like, some stuff yeah. is just going nowhere. It's been months. Is there going to be some main event match on Raw that it's going to be Chad Gable versus Ivar and he gets the big win? And we're all going to be like, yay, I'm so glad we waited for that. I don't see it happening. I feel like these are just matches to happen. But what's what's the uh, we talk we say with a oh this there's no story these are just matches there's story I guess behind it but also it's it's repeated. What's the end game with that with this? What's the end game? I think that's the question that has to be asked. What is the end game between? Oh, this is this is the same thing we're gonna have to ask here with the BCC. What is the BCC doing in this? Maybe this is going somewhere. Maybe they're gonna go over to CMLL and wrestle there. Maybe these guys are all gonna travel, but. I mean that that would be nice because I mean now we we have a general idea of what's supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Chicago runs pro wrestling now. I will say that that's that's where it is. Yeah. Uh, MSG isn't cool anymore. I will agree that angle is going nowhere. Uh, nah, Derek. Chicago being the new mecca is a problem. Chicago is not above NYC, LA, Miami, or DC. It's above Dallas and Boston. <laughs> Yo, listen, y'all may not want to accept it, but when TNA is going to Chicago, WWE is going to Chicago, AEW is going to Chicago. That's the new mecca, bro. It's it's what it is. I get that you can go to those other cities too. That's fine. But Chicago is probably the number one up there. It's I'd probably say Chicago and then is LA second, maybe? Probably. It might be. I don't know, but there's arguments to be made. Um, why did Commander give Wardlow a run for his money? Beats me. Also, though, here's the issue with that Tony probably runs into. Why do we beat Commander like a drum and then expect me to care when he comes out? Seriously, we're not even going to review that Commander match, honestly, too long. It was announced on Twitter earlier. Brian Danielson on Saturday, February the 3rd, is going to be taking on a CMLL wrestler. Um, Derek, I don't know if you want to take a stab at how we say that name. Um, uh, Hichisero? That's that's what I was going with. Is it Hichikiro? If somebody knows the name, yeah. listen, I don't know this guy. Me and E were talking about this before. I don't know this guy, but you know what I did know? Look at me, people. You know what I did know? That some asshole, I said it on Twitter, was going to come out of the woodwork and be like, who is this guy? We have star power in my company. First off, you don't have a company. Number two, shut up. Yeah, Do a Google search. I was like, you know what? Cool. I don't go on and say stuff like, who is this? Right, yeah. Um, As you're holding a phone to tweet when you could have Googled it instead of typing all that. Yeah. that guy <laughs> listen i mean we, we we could definitely point fingers and be like who's this and who's no that? that's the shut the hell up moment though that's just I mean, you no, whining no. the wine oh no, it, it is but i mean we are also at the point where we can say like hey this is this is what we got okay like we can we can go down do we really care about gender <laughs> there's a there's some people they got a t-shirt now for him why because uh, so many people yell that don't hinder gender. But I, listen, I'm not a fan, honestly. And like you never said, never been a fan, <laughs> never will be a fan. Speaking of gender's fans, Tony Khan, next week, special announcement. Andrew Zarian gives a tease with the money. I don't know if it's going to have to do with their new television deal. I think AEW is going to get an increase, though. I don't care what people say. I think they have overachieved the last four years in totality. They have. I know that they're down right now, but they get more bread. More bread means I can hire more people. Yeah. And I, I could do I, which will also give me the liberty to do more things. And I've told people, you guys can say whatever you want. I have not heard 
any solutions in the chat thus far, right, Derek? Despite what we're saying, even for me and Derek, we really haven't heard too many solutions. I've made counter like, hey, this place does that same thing, but I don't hear as many complaints. This is a, a very weird web to get caught up in. Extremely. All of this. Extremely. Tony Khan called out them bots. Them bots are real. The bots are real. If you start Googling his terms and you see that, wow, they posted the same message with the same exclamation points and the exact same message from two different accounts at the same time. I'm just saying, very weird. But is Tony Khan's big announcement going to amount to anything? Is Mercedes Monet important enough to people? Because to me, the best thing about this show has been the women's division. We're jumping all over the place tonight. Yeah. I promise you. Like, it's, I, it's just happening. I, I definitely think the women's division. I think so too. Uh, let me see here. Where were we? Uh, uh, I think we, we left off. Uh, let me see. Pro Wrestler Shoe said about Wardlow get, getting a run in. Yeah, we, we can get into this match. Or no, wait, there's still one more match before this. Hold on, we're going to get into it. In terms of wrestling crowd, Chicago's always was in the mix as a smart crowd. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, they, they, I think they just bumped up, though, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they've gone up quite a bit. Wardlow match didn't need to be two segments, he said. Uh, wasn't LFI going to feud with BCC? Better keep Roosh away from the CMLL, guys. Nah. Well, Roosh is injured right now, yeah. too. Philly might be in the top five. You could. I think Philly Philly will throw garbage at anything. No, like, this is garbage, bro. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> but I do like their cheesesteaks. My favorite food of all time, if anyone wants to know. Uh, if Chad is the teacher, he should have destroyed the student and beat him weeks before. Uh, I get it, but gosh dang, every year, I mean, they, they even take Thanksgiving Eve. They take the turkey to the ring before Thanksgiving even <laughs> arrives. Listen, bro, they got the juice. Yeah. Danielson wanted a CMLL run because he grew up on it. Tony brought him to CMLL like he brought him to the G1. <laughs> he said, I can't send you over there, but I can bring it to you. <laughs> That's a real father figure right there. Tony Khan was like, I can't give it to you, but I can bring it to you. All right? <laughs> you stay right there. Uh, Quills, has it pronounced, is it Hey Chisero? Does that sound better? Yeah, yeah that sounds right. Hey yeah. Chisero. I, I, I don't watch CMLL, so I can admit when I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but thank you for the uh, breakdown. MSG is legendary. I can't say his name, but I know it's very good. He's very good, and Brian will kill it. Hey, I'm with it. What up, Rob? Oh. Said, hey. Now that I'm thinking about it, it'd probably be like, hey, Chicero. Ah, hey, Chicero. Okay, I'm with it. Yeah, I, I think it. that's how it would go. Yeah, because it's H E H, hey. Right, and then, hey. Got to roll the R. Hey, Chicero. Yeah. You ain't getting no R rolls from me. All right. I want y'all to know that I dropped out of my foreign language when I was in the last year of it. Cause she said, if you don't understand any of the words that I just said, you probably don't need to be in this class. I actually just got up and walked to my guidance counselor's office. And said, I need to do something else, bro. Yeah. This ain't going to work for me, brother. And I took business classes after that. And then the old noodle went off. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll find something. Uh, TK needs to stop with these fake announce with these fake announcer brothers. Who, who are you referring to, E? I don't, um, if people have figured out by now that TK showcases talent from all over the world, go touch grass. I don't think that's an issue for Dynamite. Bro, I'm telling you, people complain about that still. Tribalism is a real deal, dude. Uh, I'm telling you, my timeline looks way different now than it did a few days ago. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah. Jesse seems like he has cut out a lot of the garbage accounts. Um, uh, <laughs> Renegade James, what up? He said, I live rent free. Bully Ray, I live rent free in so many AEW fans' heads. Now, nah, Bully Ray says stupid stuff. We're gonna get on him too in a minute sometimes, <laughs> you know. Um, in what was one of the better matches of the night, Hangman Adam Page versus Toa Leona. I'm tired of Gates of Agony losing. That's just me. Like, dude, Khan looks like a bad ass, and we just have him lose all the time. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, brutal spots over the top rope. Toa Leona was throwing Hangman Page around. Looked good, though, when they did it. Hangman hit the dead eye. I have a hard head. <laughs> he got right up and headbutted the hell out of Hangman. I, I, I felt like he like hit him in the nose. Yeah, he might have caught him a little bit, but it was a good headbutt. He, 
He tosses him up for the Samoan drop, but then Hangman catches him, crucifix pen, gets the three, and slithers out of the ring barely. I was okay with that one. At least they made Toa look pretty strong in it, and he had to get a sneaky win to get the dub. Yeah, but, I mean, what's the point of having a powerhouse if you're not going to make the powerhouse look like a powerhouse? Well, they did. That's what I'm saying. He crushed He crushed one of the top people. He's in a tag team. Yeah, but he should have won. No. He should have. No. Hangman Page. Nah. See, Derek, no. This is where we're about to disagree. <laughs> They're telling a story with Hangman into the main event. You cannot do that, bro. I, I get if he would have lost... So Hangman's losing to tag wrestlers now that are just that haven't been winning. I'm I'm talking about I'm disappointed with their overall booking. I mean, I'm not against it. This is biased at this point, <laughs> folks. Uh Renegade has said Rick Root is confirmed for 2K14. Okay. I'm with it. Better have the right theme song in too. I'm tired of them busted ass WWE themes too. Come on now. Sp- spread that bread. Making all this money. <laughs> But you ain't going to buy the real songs? Nope. TK fake announcements, he said. <laughs> um, James, the next one, I'm muting. I can't tell you what to do. The tribalism fans are like roaches. <laughs> they won't They won't go away. Tony Khan then to block the elite and work off-site and have a spokesman. Uh, for us to shoot, yes, your timeline looks different, but isn't that only building an echo chamber for the things that you want rather than what uh, may be the average thought? Yeah, but some some of the I think some of the things on Twitter though, BJ two are uh bad faith. Like it's yeah. a lot of like you're just hating the hate. Yeah. And I there's agree. accounts for both sides of it too. I could name names, but I won't because that'll be giving them free publicity. Follow us though at EPW show on all social media platforms. We're pretty quiet for the most part. We we do our talking here. Yes. That's <laughs> how I think it should be. Um Jacob Fatu Terrell, I would like to see him go somewhere big. AEW has too many shows. Focus on Dynamite first, then expand. They expanded too fast. I mean, is WWE okay for having three shows? Are they pulling it off well enough? They're not okay to have two. <laughs> this guy is mean. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I think, so, one of the biggest... Co- you got to remember what people ask for at a certain time. Do you? Does anyone remember when Dynamite was one show? This is when... Why don't we see Andrade and Malachi more? Because they didn't have enough time, bro. You only have two hours. Right, yeah. So they put them on Dark and and other shows like that. Then we got Rampage. Rampage wasn't long enough. So now we're like, okay, well, we have this over here. And I'm hoping that Tony can restructure the television deals. I think he needs to move Collision around, um, keep Dynamite two hours, have those two shows. And then if you can get Rampage and Ring of Honor spot, do it. Yeah. The end. That's it. Done playing these games. It have Ring of Honor's roster needs to be dedicated to Ring of Honor. Yes. I'm done with this. That's another problem. Floating in and out. Like, how do you explain to people, yeah, they're the Ring of Honor tag champs? Wait, what? Right. But then you never hear about them on the Ring of Honor shows. By the way, still for mental health reasons, but is it a echo chamber when trying to be unbiased? It's tough because someone's always going to say you're biased. And I think there's bias in everything. Oh, yeah. at the end of the day. Um TK announcement all is still on sale. Uh, just playing devil's advocate, by the way. Mental health is way more important. John G, Conrad, Steve. Who's Steve? This is Derek. <laughs> no Steve here. <laughs> Tribalism is annoying AF. Yeah. Yeah. Raw, Raw needs to be two hours. I'm in full agreement with that. I think I would enjoy the show ten times more. Oh, bro. When we sit there and I always go, bro, it's only nine o'clock. Yeah. Clown brings up the fact that uh, the ROH roster are basically the job guys in AEW. Mark Briscoe deserves more. Mark Briscoe doesn't lose that much either, though. There's people who are just treated well, and there's people who aren't. Right. Yeah. Derek with the hate, hate, hate tonight. I'm here for it. <laughs> AEW and WWE fans acting like Chief Niners fans. Listen, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Let's uh, let's get into it. Young Bucks show up. They break. They they abuse their EVP power. This sucks. I'm I'm not gonna lie. This this is horrible. Notice that they got rid of the short stashes. Much better move, in yes. my opinion, as yes. well, because I know what that represented. Um, they said they were gonna find someone who handed them a format five hundred dollars. This is just we abuse EVP power. I'm not feeling this. Like you went away, and this was the best thing y'all came up with. I'm not yeah. feeling it. This, this, yo, I swear to you, I'm really at this point. 
Tony Khan has to hire like two writers to help him. He does. Have one for Collision and one for uh, Dynamite. Right. Tony, you can book Rampage or they can help you book Rampage, whatever. We got to move past this. And then let Jeff Jarrett or someone book Ring of Honor. Over it. I'm over it. Yeah. At, at, at some point in time, you're going to have to let go of the reins and have somebody else do. Nobody do stays it. a great booker for 10 years. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. You can be the best of all time. You're going to eventually have a slump in your booking. And you need to go away for a little bit and then come back. Go There's nothing away. wrong with stepping away for a little bit. Not even. Tony can still make the decisions, but get some help. You got to trust someone else to help you with this. But but that's the thing though, does he? I don't know. I don't know. I think that these are questions that I'd like to ask on the media calls, but I don't get called on for this, but that's what I would ask. Um if he's ever given like a, a thought to hiring writers to help him assist with the storylines. Right. Cuz how do you plan on keeping the same, you know what I mean? You could be the showrunner. I get it. Right. Tony runs the show, but but you, but you you need somebody to write the stuff for you, right? Uh, that's Derek, right? Well, uh, screw tribalism. AW fans make fun of punks. Andre and Edron say Mercedes is yeah, yeah. That stuff's horrible. Uh, to be fair, I muted those as well. I don't even think of them as real fans. So yeah, Bravo on pushing them out. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, Conrad and Derek, it's okay, John. What up, John? It's all right. You're welcome here. At least Taven and Bennett are making ROH appearances on the weekly TV shows the last few weeks. You got to do that if they're going to be champs. Right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett booking my world. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Wardlow Commander. Dude, Wardlow looks like he got injured during this. He got, yo, he took yeah. a Phoenix Splash to the throat. And he won with a power bomb, but he couldn't do it like he was gonna do last ride style. And he couldn't because yeah. something happened with his knee. Yeah. I hope he's not injured, bro, because he looked like he was about to get a push, and now it's over. No, nah, I, I definitely think he is done for right now because just, just just his mannerisms outside of the ring said a lot to me. Like the the man the man was beating up on on the uh, on the steel steps. To me, that sounds like you either messed up or you are messed up. And I believe he is messed up. Yeah. When you go back and slow down the power bounce spot, he was like not even putting pressure onto that that yeah. leg. Nope. He, he automatically collapsed and was like, yeah, no, nah, I can't. I can't do it. Dude, it's like injury season right now in pro wrestling. Everybody's getting hurt from – and. You wouldn't think like Commander would be the match that it happened. Like I wouldn't think that. No. But once again, some people were saying, "What was he doing wrestling Commander in a competitive match?" Yeah, should have been quicker. It should have been quicker. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if Tony's getting this or figuring this out. But he's in a he's in a bad point right now. He I needs, don't think he is. What you getting it or I don't think he's getting it right now. I really don't because if he was getting it, he would start. He would he would stop and fix what needs to be fixed. And he's not letting. He's not giving the opportunity to himself to fix it. He's rocking with what is being done, and that is the biggest problem. Oh well, no, I won't say the biggest problem. I'll say one of the biggest problems that he's having right now is learning how to let someone else take over and fix things. He's got to, if it wants, if he wants it to be anything, he's, uh, he's, he has to, if he still wants to have a show. Yeah. Big bill and Ricky Stark sit in a gym with sting and Darby Allen. They basically hype up their tag match. Not a lot to get into. I thought it was a fine hype up. It was, it was, it, yeah, it was, they did what they had to do. Yeah. It was fine. I, I really can't complain. Uh, for those who don't know, next week, this is the big matchup for February 7th. It's going to be for the World Tag Team titles, Ricky Starks and Big Bill versus Sting and Darby Allen. They kind of went over the history of why Ricky Starks is upset that he, he lost to him. Um, yeah, it's 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 there. I'm interested in the match, but... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Definitely interested in the match, but, you know, it's... 
this was a fine segment. Like I said, it wasn't all bad. This was this was pretty good. I thought it has to be done correctly, and so far so good. Um, <laughs> Clown said maybe Tony grew up on New Jack City, so he can't trust anyone around him. But dude needs some help around him. He does. I don't think it's all doom and gloom. It was a bad show, but damn. Um, no, but I do. E. I don't know. For the last couple weeks, though, I don't know what Tony is putting together here. But I'd like to see him. Um. Maybe it's the injuries and it's the tag teams aren't together who it's supposed to be. Like, where's I, where's FTR on Dynamite, bro? Like, have that banger tag match over here instead of just Collision. Right. You, you gotta you gotta do some more. I saw on uh, Rampage we're getting like I feel like he's putting the better matches on like Rampage and stuff lately. I'm yeah. like, dude, Top Flight and Private Party rematch. Put that shit on Dynamite. Yeah, I agree. I agree, one hundred percent. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know, bro. Tony needs to get it together. He needs to figure out what he wants to do and how he wants to approach it. Just start over, bro. I mean, at this point, you, you have to start over. What up, Mike? ROC in the building. Uh, Tony about to put up all his wrestlers at the Carter. At Cloud. Jeff is pookie. <laughs> I was going to say a biggie line, but I don't think I can. <laughs> uh <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, listen, once again, not all doom and gloom, all right? I promise. Yeah. It's not. It's not the end of AEW. That's no. another thing. Please stop saying that. No. It's the, I think we need more from AEW, and when they get that money, it's time to expand and look towards how can we make this place better. I want plans for Ring of Honor. I feel like Ring of Honor is just there. It's just there. Athena's been crushing it down there. Put her. How come everyone else is on TV but her? I don't get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, it's de it's definitely not. Um, it's just I, I want to understand. If he's telling yeah. me a reason, then I'm like, oh, okay, I get that. But sometimes I'm like, what's the reason for this? It, it's not a it's not a clear cut uh, direction as to what is happening, and I think that's how you lose a lot of people because people want to understand what you're trying to show them, but if you have no direction with it yourself how do you make it work right uh what the funk says yo what up what the funk appreciate you uh wait till the knicks are in third place man terrell we know what the knicks are gonna do in the playoffs bro they're gonna make us mad all right we know what they're gonna do chris rockstar says no one cares about roh yeah, it's rough at this point. Stop with the end of AEW. They are not at WCW 2000. Yeah, me and Derek said that last week, too, and BJ, too. They're not at WCW 2000 point. Take it easy. It's not even like the booking's awful. It's just blah. Yeah. That, it feels that, blah. That's it. It, it. it just feels like something was put together just to get a show together, and we don't need that. We I'd rather you thoroughly go over what your storylines are going to be and make it work. Listen, we had a Chris Jericho match on here. I guess it's we're obligated to. Jericho's reaction was better than I expected it to be tonight after all the controversy still surrounding him. Right. No answers to that as well still, but I guess we don't know the full situation, but whatever. We're, I don't want to get into allegations of controversy. Jericho had his match with Kyle Fletcher, the Ring of Honor World Television Champion. Why is Chris Jericho beating him? How's that going to sell your next ROH pay per view? <laughs> right. Jericho won with a Judas effect that he hit one. He dove to the outside, and then he hit one off the top rope. Um, that was the match. And then Kanosuke Takeshka comes out next week on Dynamite. Takeshka versus Jericho. See, that card next week feels more stacked up. Yes. Like they're trying to do something with that card. You got the tag titles on the line. Jericho Takeshka, this is the story they've been going for. I'm with it. And also, you can't, You got to remember, you're not going to get a, a, a banger book show every single week no, either. No, it, it doesn't happen that way. Um, sometimes sometimes you're going to get that, that show that was just amazing. But then there are times you're going to get that show where it's just like, eh. And then there are times you're going to get that show like, yo, this is horrible. Yeah. At this point in time, Tony was making it work. And it worked out in his uh, his favor, but now different things have culminated, and now they are causing 
things and people to start crumbling. I've noticed many people in the chat say this, and I'm pointing this out with E. Jericho's match didn't need to be two segments. No. I think they could cut down on match time, and you could fit in a bunch of matches. What are the matches going, do you guys think? 15, 20 minutes each? Mm. In this show, I mean, <laughs> since one of them had to have went 10. Yeah. But what I'm saying is shorten the match lengths. Save that for the pay-per-view. Yes. I'm with it, bro. I you could. I'm one of the people you could put the eight, nine matches on the pay per view card and right. let them go do their thing. Do all of them need to do their thing? No. no. But if you want to let like five or six of the matches go a little bit more than 10, 15 minutes, I'm with it. Cool. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Pick and choose. Pick and choose, bro. I have no issue with that. Um, that that's what I think they should be doing. Cut down on the matches a little bit, mm-hmm. especially for the the talents that have been around a long time. Yeah, I Jeff mean, Jericho, Jeff Jarrett, mm-hmm. um, others who feel like yeah, I need a break, man, from doing this. Give them the ten minute match. Give them a seven eight minute match. Just go out there yeah. and do your thing. That's tighten it. up on the rules. I'm just bringing up. It's to me, it's all little crap tonight. When me and BJ were going back and forth, I was like. Are we being uh, picky about this kind of or with it? And I'm like, it's it's just like little things that we're picking at. And I'm like, if you just tighten some of this up, this wouldn't be as bad. Right. Yeah, continue. Wardlow tweeted his knee is fine. Okay. Good. We'll see. We'll see. Because you were you were limping pretty bad, my guy. Renegade said, I'm agreeing with Hubs. AEW is circa WCW 99. I don't know if y'all remember how how some how yeah. bad some of that stuff was. I went back and watched it. Yeah. WWE was falling apart. This I don't think it's falling apart. I think that you have a a boring structure that has boring paint right now, and you and you need someone to come back up, but all your best workers aren't around right now. That makes sense. That makes it's a plain sense. house. You got plain perfect. looking windows, and where's Kenny? Where's right. Kenny to add to paint this door? He's not always oh, not here. MJF, oh, he called in too. That they're not here right, to, right. to help you. Well, so somebody's got it. Yeah, somebody has to figure it out. Um, after this, Deanna Perazzo explains the meaning of the tattoos for Bully Ray, who didn't understand what the meaning was last week. That's another thing too. This is that bad faith shit I'm talking about. No, because the people are part of the problem, Derek. This is bullshit. Every is. single week, people come up on here and they do this bad faith arguing bullshit. Bro, uh, what? tell me a story with the tattoos. What story don't you get that they have the same tattoos, bro? I was so frustrated with this. And then they went out of their way still to explain this to you. Fine. Great. There should be no complaints. I should hear a retracted statement now, right? But no, nobody's ever going to retract their 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 wine, their... Uh, I caught myself. I'm trying not to cuss. <laughs> their wines about that, right? Stop crying about stupid stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, some 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 of stuff that is made into I don't know, man. So sometimes you, I, I'm I'm at a loss, bro. Like I have nothing to say. Like I, I'm, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't get it, man. John, uh, we're okay tonight. I'm doing all right. Cool, and John. Matt says, uh, y'all remember WCW 99? That was tough to watch. AEW isn't that bad. Like, I really think y'all have not went back and watched this. I went back and I watched the decline of WCW. Like, I watched it steeply fall from pay-per-view to pay-per-view in Nitros. Like, I was like, what is going on in this company? Yeah. Um, Clown says, could have, multiple, uh, could have cut multiple matches and put more females on the show. Clown. We went through this last week, and I'm going to say this, and I mean this respectfully to the female wrestling fans. Tony Khan is not going to put more stuff on the show if people don't watch. I went to Forbidden Door. I was excited to see Tony Storm versus Willow Nightingale. People got up, and I was like, I know y'all not getting up for this match, and there's some doo-dooer matches on this card. But they did, and I didn't get why. This is the same thing. And then when you watch the ratings every week, the ratings dip during the women's match. Now, for Tony to fix it, he's going to have to put on more women's matches. But you need to yell at fans then to support it more. If you don't support it, why would Tony put it on? If it right. don't make dollars, it don't make sense to him. 
Think about that. And I mean that dead serious. I know people, and no, I'm just keeping it a buck. Some people probably don't want to hear it, but that's the truth. And I want to see Tony Storm. I want to see Deanna Perrazzo, Willow Nightingale, Chris Statlander, bald ass Stokely. We need these people out here doing this. Yeah, you definitely need them. Um, and I think the women's division has been better. They deserve more of a shot lately. But you guys have to show up. You have to make the ratings go up. You got to show like, that was really good. I'm into that. That's what used to happen when TNA was on TV. The women's right. matches come on and it would go up. Right? Why isn't it happening for AEW? Are the matches not? I think they've been better, but I don't know if everyone else feels that way. You tell me how. What, what division has been the most exciting to you in AEW? Tell me in the chat. I don't think it was 99. I lived through that as a WCW fan. They aren't crowded with backstage politics, bleeding the TV product, and too many shoots at Jerry Springer-ish. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's time for the hot episode, Cody Month. <laughs> what? Oh. Um, Let's see here. They let a child win the tag belts with Braun Strowman at WrestleMania. <laughs> Never forget. Uh, I hated that WrestleMania too. That that is good to hear, guys. Conrad and Derek, appreciate you, John. Thank you for caring. Oh man, gender retained a title by beating Nakamura twice was terrible to watch. Yeah, that that never should have happened. Yeah, WCW '99 had more fans. What? More fans as to what? <laughs> like nobody was watching that shit, bro. When they had the the cat's booty logo, whatever that thing was, nobody watched WCW at that point, bro. Nobody. I mean, yeah, I shouldn't no. say nobody. There were people watching, but it wasn't as great as it once was. Like the 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 magic was gone. Nobody was coming to school talking about NWO anymore. Yeah. No, nobody that. was talking about Wolfpack anymore by like March of ninety nine. It was a rap Rizzy. Yeah. Um. If anybody says otherwise, you're crazy. Um, let me see here. Wrestling, wrestling had more fans back then, James. That's true. Thank you, Jesse. Mm-hmm. Tony needs help. You are not a one man show. Mm-hmm. The competition in '99 was. <laughs> Some would argue, but he, they, like I said, they had writers though. Let people structure this for you. You don't have time for all this, right? Yeah, you, you have. Oh, excuse me, you have way more important things to focus on instead of trying to focus on this. Hire the correct people to handle what you need done so that you can handle what you need done. The screaming V cat, but yes. Oh. Yes. Some people have a different name for it, but I won't get into what they call it. Um <laughs> after this, out comes uh, the bang bang scissor gang. Derek enjoyed this segment. Yes. Um to see to see them all together. With the with the new theme and everything, high energy acting a fool. Yes, I, I can't stress how much I love this idea of getting them together. It makes life simple for one. For two, you get a great theme out of it. For three, it's just great. Well, that theme is Bullet Club's theme. True, Bullet Club Gold's theme. But that's fine. I'll take it. But but you you. You subconsciously inherited the thing. Yeah. And I'm gonna get to your I'm gonna get to the comments here in a section or in a second, excuse me. Um yeah, th- this was great. I think this is leading to a unification of the two trios belts, mm-hmm. which I think it should get rid of one of it these. Should. There's no reason to have all these belts. It should. Um but what do we know? No, I think it's gonna happen. I think they're just going slow. We have how we got a what a whole month still before the pay-per-view. Yeah. So you yeah. got time to tell your story. Uh and I think fans are gonna enjoy this right now. Gotta I sell that you. bang bang scissor gang merch first. <laughs> I hope that they do, bro. I hope that they do. Um BJ said we did talk about NWO 2000, but it was either delusional fans thinking it could be rekindled or they were th- talking because of the terrible way it came back together with that fake bread attack. Yeah, they did try with Hall, Nash, Brett, and Jarrett. I mean, you'll never know what happens until you try it, right? Yeah, I mean, they never finished out either. They had a lot of injuries, too, that ruined stuff. Brett went out, I think, not too long after that, and it was just done. I remember that. Um, 
Kyron, that one episode of Nitro in 99 in Yakima, Washington. Go watch. I loved it. D- d- listen, WCW still had good things. Bro, I'll tell people this all the time, bro. I love the tag division in WCW in 99. The Filthy Animals, they had the West Texas uh, crew, whatever they were, Mr. Perfect and Barry Windham, Chris Benoit, Dean Malenko. You had people that like were doing cool things within the divisions. Harlem Heat got back together. It, it like I said, it's all not like straight up doo doo butter either. That happens in two thousand. <laughs> That's when it really got bad. R.I.P. Cardboard Jay White, poor guy. The statement did nothing other than uh, hyping, but it was still my top three things of the show. Was there live and had a blast. Um, Good. Are they going to do anything with the group? Chair relax says, yeah. I, I think they're like I said. I think it's leading to a match. Digo be mad when BCG drops the hammer on the acclaim. <laughs> He's gonna beat them down. I hope not. <laughs> I don't know. But if it happens, I will gladly accept it. I'll be upset, but I'll gladly accept it. Listen, accept we're gonna play this game. Derek, you can either have the Bang Bang Scissor Gang stay together, okay. or you can have the trios titles, one of them knocked off. What do you choose? I guess they just staying together. Who, the Bang Bang Scissor game? Yeah. You'd rather have the all those damn belts? Yeah, absolutely. This is some hater stuff. Absolutely. This man is wild. Absolutely. This man is a menace. Do not let him vote or pick anything ever again. Deanna Perrazzo versus Taya Valkyrie versus Tony Storm. Timeless Tony Storm. Um, Listen, I missed a lot of this match. I had to go and talk to the intern. He was wilding out for uh, before bedtime. But... Timeless Tony Storm um, is on is on commentary for this. Deanna gets the win with the arm bar. I think she has a new name for it. I don't remember what they're calling it. Taya did fine here. Um, I wish Taya would be showcasing a little bit of a better role, but that's yes. also tough to do with her with Johnny TV. Yeah. They do some funny things, though. They did have something silly with them, like where I don't know what Johnny TV did. He did like a split. And then I don't know how they did it where they like dragged him away, but he oh, was on man. the ground. I was yeah. like, how did they do that? Yeah. I feel like someone must have been pulling him behind the curtain. They had they had to. They had to. Or uh, like um or like strapped him up to something. Yeah, and just started pulling and him away. Pulling away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Quills, I know what the tag team name was. I was trying to avoid that last part because I don't know if I'll get in trouble for saying that on here. <laughs> I can't put it up either, but yes, I see what you put in there. Um, yeah, this was fine though. This is leading to Deanna Deanna Perazzo versus a uh, timeless Tony Storm. I'm with it. I, I I don't know. if See, this is gonna this has got me feeling weird. Like, does Deanna win this? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. If she uh, Serena Deep made her return on Collision too. Serena Deep looked great. This is tough. Well, we're not there yet. We got time to think about this, but it's just, it's out there right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> BJ looked up Jesse's show. Let's talk about it real quick. <laughs> April 12th, 1999, Monday Nitro, the WCW Cruiserweight and Tag Team Champion, Rey Mysterio Jr. penned Juventu Guerrera. Bam Bam Bigelow penned Hugh Morris in a kendo stick match. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. El Dandy and LaParca fought the Master Blasters to a no contest. Who are the Master Blasters? I don't even want to know. <laughs> WCW Tag Team Champion Billy Kidman pinned Psychosis. Yo, Psychosis lost way too much back then, by the way. Yeah. And WCW yeah. TV Champion Booker T pinned Rick Steiner. Thank goodness. Master P was there. Bout it, bout it. <laughs> That's hootie hoo. I remember that. Remember Swole? <laughs> Swole, he was huge. Bill Goldberg penned Kenny Chaos, Sting penned Ric Flair, the WCW Ooh. World Champion, and Diamond Dallas Page penned U.S. Champion Scott Steiner. That might have been the show where DDP and Scott Steiner got into it. I, mean, I know that's always on, like, the shoot DVDs. Taya tapping on Deanna's melons. Uh, I did not see that. So uh, their classic song, I Hate Rap. Yeah, I like NASCAR uh, racing, Billy Joe, still King. How, how does 
God, who approves this? <laughs> what back in those days? Yes, Eric was, Bischoff and the oh homies, bro. God, that is so horrible. <laughs> no, nah, that was funny, bro. No, I, that was funny, bro. I can't front. That's I oh. like that. That was a good feud. I, I, I hate rap. They sounded like your dad, like old oh, dad. My God. I mean, it 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 did what it was supposed to to do, but God. Oh. Thank you, BJ, for pointing it out. As someone who went through and watched 99 WCW, I couldn't even talk about it because I wouldn't want to subject y'all to that. But he said that was also the first half of 99. Oh. The second half, I think it's after Slamboree, I was like, what happened? What happened? You just see it. There was a, uh, That was no contest because Kevin Nash came out and powerbombed everyone. Hey, don't you dare talk about L Dandy. You better look up Bret Hart's promo on L Dandy. Show some respect. All right? <laughs> Uh, name uh, her version of the Ring of Saturns, the statue. Is that what they call it? I don't, I don't, there's a different name for it. I could have swear I wrote it down last week, but let's see. Who, 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 who? Deanna Perrazzo's move. Well, look, we're on the the Young Bucks talk to Darby Allen backstage. They're doing this EVP abuse of power. I hate this. He doesn't respond to the text message. He doesn't get on Zoom calls on time. This is lame. I'm sorry if anyone likes this. I just think it's so lame. I want the like I said, I think their tag match is gonna be a banger at Revolution, but it just no. You have a name? Mm. Nothing for the finisher. Nah, let me try something else. Hold on. Someone in the chat's probably got it up. Hold on. Did they put it in? That Sting and Rick Steiner feud in 99 with the dogs attacking Stain. Oh, it's uh, Venus de Milo. I, yeah, I think that's like a, a famous song or whatever, because she's the virtuosa, uh, which is like oh, a, a yeah, scholar. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Chair Relax. Thank you. I think you had posted that before. Someone else did. Whoever the other person was who posted that, thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you. That is correct. Uh, clown got Deanna's finish. Thank you, Clown. My apologies. Uh should make uh should have made it a Jim Ross sit down. Jr. was good at them sit downs back in the day. Oh yeah, J- Jr. Well, perfect. Yo, my new fa- one of my favorite memes with Jr. is when he was talking about. I don't know if it's from uh Plane Ride from Hell or which series it was from, but it's from Dark Side of the Ring. I remember watching. He was like, it was like when my toddler won't go to bed and it's like two a.m. Sit your ass down. <laughs> We're all tired. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> yo, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Yo, I can't hear Jr. saying that right now, bro. Sit down. We're all tired, all right? <laughs> Bad enough. It's been a long day. You uh, barbecue. <laughs> Collision is going to have Eddie Kingston versus Brian Keith for those interested. I'm trying to generate some interest here for this. Right. Uh, it's a famous sculpture with no arms. Thank you, BJ. It's a statue with no arms. Thank you. I am... I want y'all to also know this. Derek is also witness. Word to my mama. I Derek, when did I stop taking art? Seventh grade? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I took art after seventh grade unless it was by force. I think I did a pottery class in uh what was it? Uh high school. Yeah. Towards the end in, in uh pottery. Definitely made a lot of ashtrays. Didn't smoke though. <laughs> but that's what I called them. <laughs> I was like, can I get the B, though? Can I get a B? <laughs> listen, so, listen, I put forth the effort. You told me to make something, and I knew I made what I knew. <laughs> I remember. I, shout out to shout out to my guy. I won't say his full name. Mr. Appler, though. I was like, you grade my art yet? You call this art? <laughs> I walked in cracking up. I was like, cut it out. Cut it out. Good times. Good times. <laughs> oh, shoot. Keith versus Keeks is going to be a classic all Japan style match. I feel he listen. Brian Keith was jive looking at Virtual Pro Wrestling 2's video game the other day. They about to go ham. I'm with it. Uh, thank you, Cactus. Cat, everyone provide me an education today. Remember this, folks. Even though you got a lot of degrees, don't mean you're smart. Right. <laughs> believe that. <laughs> believe that. Yeah, definitely believe that. There are some some. People. All right, now, all right, now, don't be cutting me down like that. No, not not. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of people that uh, just I mean, leave it where it is, yeah, D. Just leave yeah. it where it is before we start saying something crazy. Dealer's choice match once again. Samoa Joe's on commentary. Samoa Joe coming out dapper as usual. Dapper, yapper. Uh, we find out that 
listen, it's no secret. They they promoted it earlier. BJ was pretty kind of cheesed off that they were promoting RVD. I knew on Saturday, once I watched Collision, they were like, the whole damn show. It's Rob Van Dam. He comes out. Rob Van Dam's feet have knocked out more teeth than gingivitis, I believe Samoa Joe said. I win it. All right. So <laughs> they did that. Uh, Adam Hangman Page says, hey, wait a minute. That was the other thing. There was a lot of Hangman Page and a lot of Young Bucks on the show. Way too much elite. Way too much elite, in my opinion. I definitely feel like the elite is just like uh, we're 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 force feeding you, and you have to accept what we're doing. No, I think they're just forcing this because at one point when they weren't on TV, people appreciated it. But then some people are like, "Well, we need more Kenny. We need, you know what I mean? People wanted it. I don't know, man. Um, I don't get it. Uh. It's it's the it's the gummy that Homer Simpson tried to eat off the babysitters. Oh my goodness! We will not refer to that anymore. <laughs> no more gummy talk. Hangman Page came out and said this is going to be a hardcore match. RVD's out there. He throws a chair at Swerve's face. This was great if you liked old ECW. That's yes. what this was. It was a tame old ECW match. Yes, uh, RVD. Still looks good. Like, what, like the ripe old days of like 50 something? Mm-hmm. Like 51, 52, something like that? I, mean, I could be wrong. I don't know how old he is, but regardless of the fact, he was looking good. Um, still, still, still hasn't missed a step slower, but still hasn't messed a, st- oh, messed, missed a step. Um, RVD was whipping him pillar to post. He, he was. He was. RVD was fire, man. I forgot how old RVD was till they like nice. zoomed in on the hair and it was thinning. Oh man, it hurt, man. Woo. It hurt. RVD's fifty three. Matt said fifty three. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, bro. Like, they, like they, this match was this match. This match was the match that saved the show. One hundred percent. You disagree? You are entitled to that. I may not respect it, but I you are entitled to that because this was good. I, I had this, no issue with it. They, this was good. RVD tried. He went for a five star. No one was home. Lands on a chair. Takes the L. Swerve goes to give him the. RVD did a great job selling, getting up. He yeah. was like. Uh, the core is strong still, and then he gives him the double middle fingers because he's an ECW rebel. Double stomp. RVD even put the legs all the way back for him. He stayed there for a second. Yeah, he's yeah, like, "Swear, yeah. pet me, please." Yeah, got him. One, two, three. He gets the win. Out comes oh, Hangman Adam Page after Derek. Hangman brings up a good point. He says, "Listen, me and you are both undefeated for a while yeah. now yeah. since the new year started because that's when the records have always reset in AEW." So right. he yeah. said, "We're both undefeated. We're both probably number one contenders." Next week, me and you, one-on-one match. Tony Khan makes it official. It makes sense, though, Derek, because, listen, I thought it was going to be a triple threat, and it still might be. But I was like, how are you not going to have a match between them to determine who's the number one contender? That's the issue with this ranking thing sometimes is why would it be a triple threat if it doesn't need to be? Right. I I, See, my, my whole thing with this match alone is I feel like we continue this feud that I feel like was culminated when uh, Swerve won. um, What was that pay-per-view called? Oh, my God. What, Full Gear? Yes. The the Texas Deathmatch one? Yes. Full Gear. Um, That should have ended everything. But my fear is that Swerve is going to take a shot and Heyman is going to be ranked higher. And I solely do not appreciate it at all. This shouldn't happen. If they decide to do this, it shouldn't happen. But, you know, I, what's best for business, I guess. Let me see here. Uh, Trick Williams no near the caliber technically sound of Swerve Strickland. <laughs> the braid side is not the same. Um, let me see here. Buff Bagwell defeated WCW's champion Rick Steiner. <laughs> oh, y'all still going through old WCW cards. Y'all better cut it out. 
Um, let me see here. I hear uh, I hear your people complain. Uh, they don't do enough rematches, though, Derek. I mean, I, okay, so E, you, you're you're not wrong, but Swerve is two and zero. Oh. So so we have we have the get back of of a third match where Hangman possibly wins, and what now? So Hangman Hangman wins this match, right? If he wins this match, this is supposed to be done. So if Hangman wins this match. Yes, he is one and two against Swerve, but then he gets he's he's higher than Swerve in the rankings. So what does that do for Swerve? Well, B just I hope Swerve wins. Hangman will win Elite Power. That's what I'm saying. It, I, I hope Hangman loses. LOL. Like I said, I think people are just really divided on how they feel about people. Rampage this Friday. I mentioned it before. Private Party Top Flight. Uh, I think this is going to be a really good match. I want to see these two teams wrestle more. And this is what the Ring of Honor tag title should be for then. Oh, yeah. Without like, a doubt. Like, that could make Ring of Honor better. Yes. But you got to you gotta use them. You got to go down there and do this. Like I said, if Tony wants to get two companies, let someone else take over the booking and, like, get some wrestlers that you want that are up-and-coming stars. And then when I'm ready for them or you have nothing left to do with them, we could talk and we will use them. Right, I agree with that. Um, also, we're going to see the stars of CMLL. They're going to be on Rampage as well. Mystico in the house on the front there. Not uh, not my boy Sin Hunico. He was handing out them ass whoopings, though, backstage. <laughs> you know, well, I like people who fight backstage, apparently. Right. So go ahead, dish out them ass whoopings. Don't disrespect me, baby. Um, next week, we already mentioned this, but tag tiles are on the line. Uh, Ricky Starks, Big Bill, Sting, Darby Allen. If you're in Phoenix, get yourself some tickets to go check out Sting. If you're not going to Sting's last matches. I don't know what you're doing. You're playing yourself. Yeah. And put your thoughts. Give me your uh, ratings for the show in the chat real quick before we get up on out of here. But we do have the rankings out, Derek. The first set of rankings since they brought them back. Let's see how we feel about these. So we have the men's champion rankings, so we're grouping once again all these people together. Yeah, that's not how that should work. Okay. So contenders, we have Swerve Strickland currently at number one, probably because he has more wins over Hangman, like you said. Hangman Page is at number two. Adam Copeland, though, is at number three. John Moxley is at four. And Roderick Strong is sitting at five right now. Any any complaints with that? I think due to how they've booked, I can agree with these. Uh, I mean, I guess you could put Wardlow on there, but Wardlow's hasn't well, been booked. He's been going against people you know he should be. Yes. Um. Actually, I, I'm I'm okay with how it looks. I'm okay with how it looks. Let's look at the women's table here. So the contenders, uh, champions are Tony Timeless Tony Storm and Julia Hart, who is the TBS champion. Number one contender is Deanna Parasso. No issue. Thunder Rosa is number two. So I guess that would put her in line for a TBS championship match. Thunder Rosa. Hikaru Shida at three. Sky Blue at four. And Mariah May at five. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Mariah May. I, I'm a fan. I like her. No, no, I like her, but I don't I don't I don't know how I feel about her being in that title race. She's a little cheeky, but she's all right. I get it. It's a little, little turn from across the pond for you. Uh, the tag team champions, pretty Ricky Starks and Big Bill. Uh, number one contender, Sting and Darby. They haven't lost ever, so I get it. John Silver and Alex Reynolds at two. Do you guys see what I was talking? Where's FTR? What? Yo. I don't get it. I don't get what happened to this tag division. That's what I'm wondering. Um, Brian Danielson and Claudio Castagnoli are number three. That could be something. That could be something they wanted to get into it. But BCC teams all together, though. Moxley and Claudio just team two. Right. Yeah. Um, Private parties right now at number four, probably because they did win against Top Flight. And then number five is Orange Cassidy and Trent Beretta. What? Hmm. I get that Chuck Taylor's out, but what? 
Yeah. Um, you got to make it make sense. No, this, the trios division has messed this up because now go to the other side. They have one for the trios championships now. The number one contenders are Bullet Club Gold. Wink, mm-hmm. wink, nudge, nudge. Yep. The Hardys and the Briscoes are number two. And Dark Order is at three. FTR and Daniel Garcia are four. And House of Black is at five. <sighs> you know it's hard out here for oh, Bill. <laughs> Listen, that it's it's hard out here. I don't know. Oh. I, I that tag one hurt though. I didn't like that. Yeah, one. that 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 hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Um, let's see here. Rob says, does the quality opponent have any effect on the rankings? Like for example, after does Mox beating Zicky Dice have the same effect as Ricky Starks beating Jay White, or does TK want to spare feelings? Supposedly, it's supposed to be the tougher the opponent you're on. Yeah, is how I've understood it. I swear Derek will lose it if all this leads to Hangman winning the world title and him joining back with the Bucks to add to the abuse of power storyline. That would be uh, whack. Sometimes the best fights happen backstage. <laughs> the rankings are back. Already hate that we are grouping the singles titles ranking. I'm kind of with BJ yeah. at this point. I think you could have just kept them away. You could have. You definitely could have. But I didn't watch the full show, so the only thing I can say was I wasn't uh, – the only thing I can say was what I seen I wasn't enjoying. AW 6 out of 10, EPW 10 out of 10, fun-ass chat, Young Bucks suck. <laughs> if Hangman wins and swerve, jump, swerve, it will really mess up how I drive. <laughs> how are the Dark Order in the rankings? Beats me. Beats me. Mm. Uh, you're oh. trying to tell me all the singles belts are of equal value – you can and should be doing better than this. E said thumbs down. I, I'm assuming that's for the show tonight. Bucks are ranking the teams. E. Touche. Yeah, wait a minute. Wouldn't that mean the Bucks are number one contenders, or is it because they just kind of took the moment already that they get the shot? I guess they haven't been around to ask for title shots, so you can't do that anymore. Right. What do you think of tonight's show, Derek? What are we giving this, man? Uh, I'm, are you giving thumbs up or thumbs down, man? Uh, I don't necessarily want to give a thumb, thumbs down, but I don't necessarily want to give a thumbs up, so I think I'm going to go a fair to Midland. <laughs> in the middle. I, I'm indifferent on tonight's show. Tonight's yeah. show it, it just didn't hit me. Yeah, I am going to also go with that. As an answer, um, if you force me to pick, I'll say I would say a a thumbs down in totality. But I don't want to disrespect because I do think a lot of people worked really hard on this show and they did have some good yeah. matches. I think it's just due to flawed logic, booking, and other small stuff. It's all the little things that matter. Yes, all all the little things that that people fail to realize that will build up in all in due time. Uh, it may not work as fast as the bigger things, but you still should be doing it. Silver and Reynolds over FTR on rankings because they had three dark match victories is some boo boo booty. Wait, when it, what dark matches are they wrestling on? I thought uh, some matches rank higher by opponent. I thought so too. Two of those three dark matches were against Cutler and Cabana. Haven't they been running this as a dark match for like six months now? <laughs> what the actual F? Come on, Derek. Give that hoe a thumbs down. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. Come on now. No, I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I got I to gotta leave it where it's at. Like I said, there, there was some hope for it. I don't think it was like all garbage. I think it was a little bit better than last week. Yeah. But not not by much. Yeah, not not, not by much. Uh, by, mm, by a... And Car's length, long shot. Yeah. Matt says they've been doing dark matches before Dynamite lately. Did not know that. This was a mid-show. EPW always pizza out experience. No one out pizzas the hut, and no one out does EPW. Thank you, BJ. Cody Rhodes, my number one off. <laughs> you guys are bugging, man. Listen, sure. we'll, be, we'll be back next week. We're going to try this again. Hopefully, it's a better show. From Phoenix. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, I did not know that they've been running variations of the match. Cabana and Cutler. Ugh. Please stop. Please stop. Uh, we'll have something more for you soon. 
Make sure you guys are tuned in. Sting's last match is coming up. It's going to be AW Revolution. Let's go. Sunday, March 3rd. I'm looking forward to the show. Uh, usually the pay-per-views always do deliver. And I'm just hoping that this is just bad weekly booking to get to where we got to go. I think it is. but yeah. We'll get back to it. Let's hope next week they bounce back for myself. And the man they call Derek. We are out for this episode of EPW. Thank you for joining us. We are out. One. One.